Welcome, my political friends of the interwebs. I will be. <laughs> I, I am. I am pursuing my my love and passion uh, for bitching twenty four seven. The best part about it is this is my world. <laughs> it's just the way it is. If you don't like it, click the hell off. All right. Oh, you see the chick there holding the gold medal. Mm -hmm. It's a chick. God knows how much testosterone is rolling through her veins. <laughs> you know? um, yeah, apparently she's the fastest uh, swimmer on the planet, um, bar bar none, including males. Uh, this is a this is a biz, this is a bizarre. Well, I shouldn't say it's, but it's really not bizarre. I'm gonna explain it here in a second. Um, yeah, let me let me put you to put it to you like this. This this Chinese. Olympian, this a Chinese swimmer, um, turned in a time that was described by all as a freakish, <laughs> you know, freakish. And of course, immediately, I mean, when she blew away times that, that, the, that the fastest male swimmers couldn't obtain, immediately people were like, well, wait a minute, something ain't right. There, there's something in the wood pile here. There's something wrong. Okay, and no kidding. Here's the funny thing. This reminds me, so it's almost nostalgic for me. Because this reminds me of my youth. <laughs> my youth growing up uh, during the time in this country when the Soviets, the Soviet Union, uh, led by Mother Russia, was the dominant communist force on the planet. That's right. The dominant communist force on the planet. And I watched them all through my youth going to the Olympics and just crushing in Olympics. Because for all, two things here. One, uh, uh, back then we only used um, uh, student athletes or or uh, amateur athletes. It isn't like today where you've got the NBA All-Stars, you've got the NHL All-Stars. It wasn't like that back then. Back then, uh, the United States, the free world, the non-communist world, used legitimate amateur athletes. Literally. Um, whereas the communist countries used professional athletes. And what I mean by that is, if you were a really good hockey player or if you were really good, whatever, in whatever sport, you would then would be put into the military and your MOS in the military or your job in the military would be that particular sport and that's all you did, okay? Um, so for all intents and purposes, when the Soviets uh, fielded a hockey team, it was that whole country's all-star team is what it was of professionals. Okay, whereas we put a bunch of college kids together and, you know, and the Soviets would crush us every freaking chance they got. All the way up until 1980, but I'll get to that in a minute. So, you know, and it was funny to watch the Olympic. Well, it wasn't funny. It was really kind of ridiculous. Um, everybody knew it was going on. You would see, I'll never forget this. The, it was the East German, um, what was it? The East German weightlifting team, I think. And they had this one chick. I swear to God, she had to shave. <laughs> you know, zits all over her back. She, was, she had every classic sign of steroid abuse that was, I mean, total textbook. Total textbook. I mean, it was just, it was ridiculous. And she would give an interview, and it would be, I'm glad I won this, the gold medal. <laughs> you know? I mean, I'm like, holy crap, Helga, you know? Um, it was a joke. It, it literally was a joke. And the same thing for their swimmers. You know, they'd have female swimmers getting out of the pool, you know, look, looking like, you know, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the day. <laughs> you know? I mean, uh, unbelievable. Just, but everybody knew what was going on. Everybody knew the Soviets were juicing their their uh, uh, athletes. Everybody knew that. You know, because here's the thing about communism. They have they have a little little weenie syndrome. That's what they have. Little weenie syndrome. They they feel the need to prove to the whole world that communism is the way to go. Communism is the best. Communism, uh, uh, basically, the results of communism is perfection. The results of communism is gold medals. <sighs> you know, I mean, you you had to be around during that time period to remember what or to understand what I'm talking about. But, you know, it just, it just amazed me. And now when I look at what the Chinese are doing today, you know, this, this young female swimmer putting in that kind of freakish uh, performance, um, I'm not surprised at all. I'm really not. I'm not surprised at all. You know, because they're cheating. This is what communists do. This is what communists do. Get used to it. Get used to it. And I guarantee you, 
At the end of this Olympics, China will have more gold medals than anybody else. Just like back in the day, the Soviet Union would have more gold medals than anybody else. That's why it was such a big deal. Some of you, it's sadly, probably don't remember this now. But if you're, if you're young, okay, well, let me put it this way. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say the miracle on ice, okay, I want you to rent a movie called Miracle. Okay, I, I, I swear to you, you will not regret it. There was a time in this country when, you know, the evil empire was the Soviet Union. They were the evil empire. Much like China is today, although, sadly, people, a lot of people in this country don't recognize that. And they, they basically subsidize China's evilness. But, you know, that's a whole another video. But back in the day, the Soviets uh, had this hockey team that was just unbeatable. They were the best in the world. They were, all, for all intents and purposes, uh, the Soviet Union's professional hockey team, all-stars is what they were. And we put together a hockey team of a bunch of college kids. And um, the miracle was that we beat the Soviets. We beat the Soviets um, with a bunch of college kids. We beat the best hockey team in the world. You know, Ronald Reagan had just become president. We had just left that nightmare of a president, uh, Jimmy Carter, you know, who, who's, who's, whose biggest contribution to, uh, to, to the presidency was uh, something that he called the misery index. Believe it or not, there was actually uh, this, this, this uh, chart, <laughs> this, this bar, kind of like a thermometer, you know, and, and, uh, and he was focused on the misery index. And it was. It was a miserable time, one, to be an American, you know, it was a miserable time. I mean, we had things like the the hostage crisis in Iran. Um, I mean, it was just, we were beat down as a country. Beat down as a country. And you know what? Communism was on the march. Communism was on the march. You know? And then Ronald Reagan came in. We won the 80 Olympics hockey team. It was just, everything changed. Um, and Reagan was very serious about destroying the Soviet Union. I can't even imagine... Um, buying anything in this country growing up that would have said made in the USSR. I can't even wrap my mind around that. I mean, you know, we didn't trade with the Soviet Union. We didn't trade with communists. Now we do. Now we do. You know, and look at them now. Juicing their athletes and doing the same thing. They learned this from, from uh, their mentor. Remember, China, China kind of came to their own in the shadow of the Soviet Union. And, and the Soviets were the big dogs. They were the powerful big dogs. You know, well, not so much anymore. Obviously, the Soviet Union fell apart. Hell, there's not even a West and East Germany anymore. It's just Germany. <laughs> you know, I know some of the younger viewers are probably like, East and West Germany, what's he talking about? Well, pick up a history book. I know most of you are victims of public education, you know, but it is what it is. Yeah, you know, it just... <sighs> Bottom line for me, when I see this picture with the Chinese, you know, uh, gold and, and bronze, I, you know, an American one of silver here. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know? But, I mean, I look at this and I'm like, I'm not surprised. I've seen this before. It's deja vu. It's Groundhog Day. It's just that instead of the Soviets, you've got the Chinese communists. You know? And, and, and yeah, and the, and the sad thing about it is... These athletes are going to have, uh, you, you know, years and years of health, Ill, Ill health effects from the nonsense that the Chinese are doing. You know, I mean, you look at the Soviets. I've seen a documentary on, on former Soviet uh, um, athletes from the Olympics, and so many of them were riddled with cancers and whatnot from all the harsh drugs that they had to take. You know, I mean, bull testosterone and just anabol and all this human growth hormone. You would have you would have women, uh, Soviet women swimmers that had forehead craniums. Their foreheads looked like Herman Munsters, you know. I mean, it, it was it was just disgusting, you know, absolutely disgusting. And I felt horrible for them, but you know, that's what the that's what the country that's what communist leaders do. They want the gold medals. They want to be number one. They do not want to come in second or third. Because it's all about an ideology. They believe this ideology. Of course, <laughs> the funniest thing is the people at the top of the party, and this is the way it was in the Soviet Union too, they're the ones that had the toilet paper, they're the ones that had the meat, they're the ones that had the cars. Okay, we're talking about a very small percentage. All the rest of the people, 
<laughs> you know, they they didn't have jack squat, which is you know. And in the end, economically, uh, the structure is flawed. Now, here's the thing about about China that's really jacked up is that because we've been trading with them, their economic system has become more of a hybrid. Although they're still communists, you you can't own property in China. It's the people's property. That's why they take their money to come over here and they buy as much property as they can because they can't do that in their home country. You know, anyway, I don't want to get all on that. I just want to say that don't be surprised that these Chinese Olympiads are uh, are kicking ass because, you know what, when you got that much juice in you, you're going to kick some ass. Anyway, that's all I got. Chime in, let me know if you think I'm off my rocker. I'm telling you, you young people, pick up a freaking history book. I know you were ripped off at your at your school. I know you were victimized by, by public education. But damn it, if you're watching this video, okay, you should know a little something. Pick up a history book, learn something, and don't just go to Wikipedia. That's that you know half that shit's wrong anyway. I, I know this because I've used it. People have called me on it, and sure enough, once I did some real research, I'm like, damn it. All right, anyway, see ya.